uh, people are looking forward to May 15, whether that's a modified or a, a ECQ or whatever it will look like. Uh, of course, pag pinag-usapan ng Metro Manila, everybody saying, no, we have to talk about the entire Metro Manila. Hindi mo pwedeng partipartihin. People are transient, people are moving. Your population, I imagine, daytime uh, really bloats uh, yeah. during the day. What in Makati's uh, estimation and recommendation should a new adjusted normal look like, at least in the early days? Um, I think you, of course, we have, we will still require the use of face mask. Um, uh, based on the recommendation of IATF, only 40% uh, will, 40% of mass transportation will be uh, available. So, um, ang, ang daytime population namin is over 5 million. So, we expect a con considerable decline because everybody will have to, um, hmm do yung social distancing and all that. So, ang tapos yung pila, I, I even instructed yung mga tao ko sa City Hall na, kasi all, that, all people that transact business in City Hall, they have to fall in line. So, yung linya magiging hanggang labas. Or do we do a virtual queuing system where they will only be allowed to enter ng, by appointment? I, I, we will have to consider those things. Um, I'm hoping that the business community will still thrive by um, pushing for online transaction. Um, sabi ko nga, um, restaurants will still be able to survive, although they will, will they will not be allowed to um, cater to the usual number of customers. But if they push for um, yung delivery and pickup. So, magbabalance. I think people will still not be too hot going out. People will still be this uh, a bit cautious. Will be still be very cautious in going out. Um, kasi ang lagi siya sabi na kakatahot yung magkaroon tayo ng second wave. If we do a sec, if there is a second wave, then we have to do the lockdown all over again. So, um, I'm I'm concerned with the volume of people that will be coming into the city because not hindi ho lahat ng nagtatrabaho dito ay obviously taga Makati. So I'm I'm hoping that the IATF and the national government will have really clear guidelines on what businesses can operate, how can they operate, what guidelines do they need to um, ensure for them to conduct business. Kasi lahat ho tayo kailangan ng guidance so we will we have recovery plans for our small uh, small medium enterprises we have uh, plans to help our our makatizens who whether they have received sap or have not received sap uh, we will be announcing a our own version of amelioration 